Which of the following receives oxygenated blood from the lungs? Option A, pulmonary artery. Option B, pulmonary vein. Option C, iota. Option D, tricuspid valve. Your time starts now. The answer is pulmonary vein. And this is the pulmonary vein that carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart. This is your scorecard. You can watch our 7-minute video on heart structure and function before attempting this quiz or let us move to the second question. What is the function of the mitral valve? Option A, prevent backflow. Option B, pump blood. Option C, carry oxygen. Option D, supply nutrients. The answer is it prevents backflow. So this is a mitral valve that prevents backflow into the left atrium from the left ventricle during ventricular contraction. Question number three. Which chamber pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs? Option A, left ventricle. B, right ventricle. C, left atrium. D, right atrium. The answer is right ventricle. So this is a right ventricle that pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs through this pulmonary artery for oxygenation. Question number four. What is the largest artery in the body? Option A, aorta. B, pulmonary artery. C, mitral valve. D, superior vena cava. Your time starts now. Answer is aorta. So this is aorta. It is the largest artery carrying oxygen-rich blood from the left ventricle to all parts of the body. Question number five. Which valve is located between the right atrium and right ventricle? Option A, aortic valve. B, tricuspid valve. C, mitral valve. D, pulmonary valve. The answer is tricuspid valve. Tricuspid valve is situated between this right atrium and right ventricle that prevents backflow of blood from right ventricle to this right atrium. So this is the tricuspid valve. Question number six. Left ventricle is involved in A. Pumping deoxygenated blood B. Pumping oxygenated blood C. Receiving blood D. Filtering blood Your time starts now. Answer is pumping oxygenated blood and this is a left ventricle that pumps oxygenated blood to the body through this aorta. Question number 7. Which structure carries deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body? Option A. Inferior vena cava. B. Superior vena cava. C. Aorta. D. Pulmonary vein. The answer is superior vena cava. Superior vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body to the right atrium. Question number 8. What is the function of the pulmonary arteries? Option A. Carry oxygenated blood. Option B. Carry deoxygenated blood. Option C. Filter waste. Option D. Regulate pressure. The answer is carry deoxygenated blood. So this is the pulmonary artery that carries deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for oxygenation. Question number 9. Which chamber receives deoxygenated blood from the body? Option A. Left atrium. Option B. Right atrium. Option C. Left ventricle. Option D. Right ventricle. The answer is a right atrium. So this is a right atrium that receives deoxygenated blood from the body via superior air and inferior vena cava. Question number 10. What prevents backflow of blood into the left ventricle? Option A. Aortic valve. B. Mitral valve. C. Pulmonary valve. D. Tricuspid valve.
the answer is the aortic valve. So this is the aortic valve that prevents backflow of blood into the left ventricle during relaxation. Question number 11. Which structure carries oxygen-rich blood to all parts of the body? Option A, aorta. Option B, pulmonary artery. Option C, inferior vena cava. Option D, right ventricle. Your time starts now. The answer is aorta. So this is the aorta that carry oxygen-rich blood from the left ventricle and circulates it to all part of the body through systemic circulation. Question number 12. What is unique about the walls of the left ventricle? Option A. Thinner than right. B. Thicker muscular walls. C. No walls. D. Elastic walls. The answer is thick muscular walls. So this is a left ventricle. Left ventricle has thick muscular walls to generate high pressure for pumping oxygenated blood to the body. Question number 13. Which vein carries deoxygenated blood from lower parts of the body? Option A. Superior vena cava. B. Inferior vena cava. C. Pulmonary vein. D. Iota. The answer is inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from lower parts of the body to the right atrium. Question number 14. What structure allows blood to flow from right ventricle to pulmonary artery? Option A. Aortic valve. B. Tricuspid valve. C. Mitral valve. D. Pulmonary valve. The answer is pulmonary valve. Pulmonary valve, so this is a pulmonary valve. This valve opens to allow blood to be pumped from the right ventricle to the lungs for oxygenation. Question number 15. Which chamber pumps oxygenated blood into systemic circulation? Option A, right atrium. Option B, left atrium. Option C, right ventricle. Option D, left ventricle. The answer is left ventricle. So this is the left ventricle that pumps oxygenated blood into systemic circulation through this aorta. Question number 16. The middle layer of the heart wall that enable heart contractions is Option A. Pericardium Option B. Epicardium Option C. Myocardium Option D. Endocardium The answer is myocardium. Myocardium is a middle thickest layer of heart wall composed of cardiac muscle fibers that enable heart contractions. Question number 17. One systole and one diastole constitute one heartbeat which normally takes about Option A 1 second, B 0.9 second, C 0.8 second, D 0.7 second. The answer is 0.8 second. The heart rate of the adult is normally 70 to 75 heartbeat per minute. Question number 18. The rate of heartbeat is called by the activity of option A, AV naught, B, SA naught, C, AV bundle, D, Purkinje fibers. The answer is SA naught. Sinoatrial node is a cluster of pacemaker cells in the right atrium that controls the rate of heartbeat. Question number 19. The test that records the electrical activity of the heart over a period of time is Option A. Electrocardiogram Option B. Electroencephalogram C. X-ray D. PET scan ECG provides information about the heart's rhythm and function and also helps to diagnose various cardiac conditions. And the final question, the P wave of ECG represents the 
option a ventricular repolarization option b ventricular depolarization option c purkinje repolarization option d atrial depolarization This is a P wave. It represents atrial depolarization, which is electrical activity associated with the contraction of the atria. Hope you are benefited from this quiz. Comment your score below. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.